I was going to be going to bed, and then suddenly I looked through my subscription, which I shouldn't do right before bed, because this sort of thing always seems to happen, right? And a video from Bill Whittle comes through. And uh, what's it titled? It's LGBTQ TV. Gay TV characters hit an all-time high. And some of the main premise of the video is discussing whether or not LGBTQ have been overrepresented in media. I'll show you just a few little clips right here. LGBTQ characters up 31% overall on all platforms. That's 20 plus, up 20 points on cable and uh, streaming services like Hulu and Netflix, uh, up 72% from last year. Bisexual characters up 26%, transgender up 53%, HIV positive characters up 350%. Now, in fairness, there were only two of them and now there are seven. Having a character like that in every single show does tend to overrepresent uh, that group and and it overrepresents, I think, the influence that they have. That's a fair criticism, and I'm going to give them credit where it's due. There is, there is no platform ever for people who might have religious objections to homosexuality. If we were talking about Islam, you'd be singing a different tune. They cannot ever be portrayed as anything other than uh, bullies. If someone is the type of person to feel it necessary to tell gay people that they're going to burn in hell for eternity, or that they're sinful. Oh, but God can forgive you. Oh, all this religious... Be yeah, if, if they feel strong enough that they're going to tell someone these sorts of things, yeah, that is kind of bullying. It's just like the people that go around saying that, that white people are of the devil. How do you feel when people say that sort of thing to you? Well, you kind of find it ridiculous because, well, their religion must be ridiculous. But you don't like it when people treat your religion as ridiculous. Cause, well, you're, you're, you're the religion, you're the, the religion of the United States. It, 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 yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, when you feel it necessary to tell people that they're sinful or, or God can forgive them or whatever, you have to, to inject something like that. Yeah, it's, it's going to be looked at as bullying. Sorry. You know, leave that shit to yourself. Keep that shit to yourself. If you feel that way, if you feel this way that, that people are interpreting as hateful, whether it actually is hateful or not, which it is, by the way, um, just keep that shit to yourself. Why do you have to announce it to everyone that you feel negatively about this group? Oh, but it's God that feels this way. I'm just... just why don't you shut the fuck up? How about that? And, 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 and sadists and potential murderers. What programs or movies or whatever are depicting Christians who think gay people are sinful as murderers. I'm not seeing those depictions. Where are you seeing those depictions? Oh, it's, it's made up out of your head because you can't stand people criticizing your fucking religion. You cannot have an honest different of, difference of opinion on this. You're, you're, you're right. There, there, there can't be an honest difference in opinion. Oh, my existence is sinful. No, no, no. Fuck you. That's my opinion. Um, and this character, uh, this guy, real guy, um, said that, uh, that he was practicing a homosexual lifestyle, but he came to faith in Christ and has since stopped behaving in a homosexual manner. And, and why would they ever feel like they should not do that? Oh, oh, because they're sinful, because this religion has forced them, has guilt-tripped them, has made them have the fear of burning in hell for eternity, scared them into not having that anymore. That's okay with you, because it doesn't affect you. Well, after this show, um, the makers of the TV show apparently pulled his audition video from YouTube and Facebook because of the backlash. And the, the government of Malta actually made a statement kind of decrying this sort of hateful. <laughs> They're laughing at this being called hateful. Where do some of you draw the line? What What is hateful? Is the only time something hateful is the point when someone becomes violent, that's hateful, and at any point before that, it's not hateful? Oh, the belief only becomes hateful when someone becomes violent with it? 
The belief itself can't be hateful. Words can't be hateful. Suck it up, buttercup. Is this the reality we, that, that, that LGBT should, should be uh, looking forward to in your, in your uh, uh, fuck your feelings uh, future? Is that what you want? I hope that's not what we allow for in November, because let's be clear, people like Bill Whittle and many others are the face of the religious right. It's the face of religious Republicans. And whether or not you agree with them or not, when you stand with a party that pretty much upholds that kind of shit, you're upholding that kind of shit. Do you want to uphold that kind of shit? Is that what you want things to be like for the LGBT? To where we can't even call it bullying when we're, when someone is harassing us with, with you're going to burn in hell for eternity, sinners. We can't even call that bullying. That's what we should put up with. Oh, they're just words. That's what we should put up with. Is that what you really stand for? Think about it. The, the idea that somebody could could be behaving gay and no longer be gay is so-called gay conversion therapy. Yeah, yeah. The, you, you've certainly got to make sure you keep a firm lid on the idea of somebody coming to uh, 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 confession of their sins and, and looking for redemption. You've got to stamp that out wherever you find it. And that right there, they'll probably consider Christian persecution because it's being stamped out. You know, making people feel bad for their very existence for something they have no control over. Oh, but you'll, you'll, you'll claim, no, they have control over it. Uh, no, they don't have, people don't have control over who it is that they're attracted to. Sorry. But oh, it's, that's, that's not hateful. Yeah, yeah, but if, if it was coming from another religious book like the Quran, you know, and it's, it says to, to, that women says certain things about women and says certain things about, well, it says other things about gay people, and it says, you know, if it's coming from the Quran, you'll, you'll claim it's hateful. But if it's from your book, oh, it's, it's okay. No, no, just, just you know, check this out, okay? Check it out, okay? You can have those kinds of beliefs, okay? But if you state them aloud, you should expect there to be a backlash, okay? And when there is a backlash, you can't call it persecution. It's, it's not going to work. It's not going to fly. Maybe that fl flew in the 1980s. It's not going to fly now. Sorry. You can't make these declarations and claim that it, it's not really hateful because it's really from God. And then get mad when people don't like it. Okay? It, it just, it, it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. That's not persecution. Maybe you should just learn when to shut the fuck up sometime. If you don't want people to call your belief hateful, then stop stating it aloud. You know, people aren't calling you hateful for stating you're Christian. People are calling you hateful when you state some of the views that are hateful. That's when you're called hateful. Okay. Now, if there are instances where people are just being being persecuted for simply stating that they happen to be Christian, okay, that's different, and, and you should call that out, and that's wrong, and it's fucked up. But that's not what's going on. Well, I'm just stating my beliefs that dot da dot da dot da dot da dot da da. Oh, I'm just stating my beliefs that gay people are are sinful and they should change their ways. Yeah, sorry, that's, that's, that's a hateful belief. No, it's not. That's, that, it comes from love. The reaction is going to be this. No matter, you know, it, it's, you're not going to change people's, you're not, people aren't going to jump up and say, oh, yes, I'm sinful. I, sh I should, I should praise the Lord because I'm sinful. And, and it's all from love. My, hating myself is full of love. Now, just, sorry, it doesn't work that way. 
Maybe you don't really have an understanding. Maybe you're so incapable of putting other people's shoes on that you can't understand why LGBT have an aversion to that kind of belief, why it actually pisses us off. Maybe you can't understand that. Maybe you can't understand, maybe that's why you can't understand why there's a concern that people who think that way have a lot of power right now. And they're giving a hell of a lot of lip service to the most, the most evangelical religious types out there. And you wonder why we're concerned. But the left, left, look out the left, the left, look out the left, the left, they're, 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 they're unhinged. Yes, we're kind of unhinged because we're worried. Look what's being put up on a pedestal. Look who all the lip service is being, being done to. Look at the groups. And now, the dog whistles to the white nationalists. Look at the left, look at the left. We're being persecuted because people don't like it when we tell gay people that they're going to burn in hell for eternity. But look at the left! Look out to the left! Fuck you.